were a racist. What? What? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Excuse like me. That. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? Did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Amar was gonna get that back to you, dawg. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simeon? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. Have a massive gamer, bitch. Uh. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dad! He said I had a massive. Bitch! You try... Ooh, slaughter time! Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. 
I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Mental ones? Seriously, penises are not meant to be that small. I fucking know, right? I've seen enough of them. <laughs> Ooh, ouch! Raperino! I'll cut your dick off if you call the administrator. Hey, you know what? I am the administrator! Ha <laughs> well, you suck fat man's dick! I still love him, though. Sort of. Well, the other day, I walked in on him, and he was jerking off over pictures of my friends. Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now, just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Ooh, okay, Amanda. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. Considering my son... Wait, you need some motivation? Drive! Considering my son just got the car. Considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, I guess... Hey! You're working a credit fraud. Credit for all. Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. What in the world? That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast, or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck you. Ram it already.
Let's go! Oh, oh shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Sammy, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! I won't be treated like this! Be an honest criminal! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> ah, he agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I thought so. Oh, that kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. He robbed me! Please, you have to do something. I need that money. This ain't your problem.
Friend, I cannot pick up the phone. I will call you back sometime. Yes? Oh dear! Oh, watch out! It's sad! What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, 
You're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, in today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. i tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink with... Dad, shit! I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane! All right, I'm coming. For my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. <laughs> 